So within the chaotic life that we're living, have you got anything that you are looking forward to? Something that you can work towards, something that you can visualize when life is just rubbish. That's what we're gonna get into. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through, then please do let me know whether it's a loving this post, whether you're sharing this post, or whether you're in the comments and you're saying good morning or hello. Engage with the community. Don't be a lurker or a nosy parker. What's happening, man? It's Friday. It is wild out here. And this, I'm in this little shelter here, outside there. It is like 30 miles an hour winds, so hopefully the sound isn't too bad. So I want to talk about <laughs> finding something to look forward to in your life. And I'm not just talking about the weekends, because we shouldn't be living our lives just to get to the weekends, right? I'm talking about things that <clears throat> can, really, um, can really bring out the best in us when the chips are down. Now, I'm gonna give you an example here. Now, I've just come back from Birmingham. Um, I've been up there for the last three days with 12 other business owners. Uh, one of my best friends runs the mastermind. He's my mentor, he's my coach. And we went up there and we had an amazing three days of discovery, inspiration, communication about our bus businesses, right? But not just our businesses, businesses, our lives, the direction that we're going. And for the last, six weeks I'd say I've really been looking forward to this I've really been looking forward to that um, going up um, socializing um, going out for dinner breaking the routine a little bit talking about the future getting motivated and inspired you know all of those good things and from the day-to-day -day stuff there's sometimes where we don't feel great or things are not going our way or um, just chaos or whatever might be the situation going on in your life or my life at the time I was always looking forward to going on that event and when I left I was like okay what's next and it's always important to think to yourself okay where are we going next so we're gonna go to Dubai next at the start of December to look forward to that uh, we've got the remember the mission seminar on the 27th looking forward to that there's other bits and pieces there's workshops in a couple of weeks so the stuff there professionally and personally that I'm both looking forward to. And there are things that are gonna keep me focused, things that are gonna keep me in line with the direction that I'm going. Now, for you guys, what I want you to think about is, what are you looking forward to? And I don't mean your summer holiday in nine, 10 months from now, but before the end of the year, are you gonna go out with all the guys? Are you gonna go for a weekend away with your missus? Are you gonna have a day spa? Or um, are you gonna do an event? The whole point of this is really to have something in our lives that we can just cling on to when the chips are down. It also means that you're focusing on yourself a little bit in terms of, listen, I'm gonna treat me and the missus, we're gonna go away for the weekend, we're gonna have a nice spa together. And you step out of the rat race and you can think a little clearer. You have more time to be perspect uh, have uh, perspective. You feel more grateful about things. If you are constantly on that washing machine life over and over again, it's just going round and round and round and round and we never stop for a break. We never stop to step out of that rat race. That's when the mental and emotional health is affected. You know, just those three days away in Birmingham, seeing, being around other inspirational people, going out for a couple of meals, breaking away from the norm of being a dad and partner. <clears throat> they just bring you up. And they just set up the tone of your energy and your drive and your passion ready to go again. And it will be the same for you. I remember going away the other half just before the baby was born it was great to get away just a couple just a day one night away and it really made the difference so what I want you to do I want to give you a challenge and I want you to let me know if you're gonna do this in the comments I want you by Monday by the time I do Monday's Rise to Thrive show which is obviously at half past five Monday morning I'm gonna be asking you and I want you to have something booked I want you to go out this weekend and I want you to book something whether it's the day spa with your missus whether it's 
uh, a round of golf, whether it's going to book a football match with your boy or whether you're going to go for a shopping date with your girl or whatever it might be. I want you to do something that you wouldn't normally do that you can look forward to. Once you've booked it, tell me. Tell me, come back to this post, put it in the comments below or tell me Monday or tell me somewhere or post on the Man Coach page or whatever you want to do. But let me know. And this is what is really important because in my Accelerator program, which is like my elite mastermind, a lot of the guys said they were wanting to do stuff. And I pulled them up on it because they never went ahead and done it. They never went ahead and done it. And I was like, why haven't you done it? Oh, I just haven't got around to it. You'll never get around to it unless you just do. Do, do, do. And that's what separates you from um, the people that don't do and live a miserable life and struggle with mental health and are overwhelmed emotionally because all we ever do is talk. I want you to practically get out there and book yourself something simple to look forward to. Have something to leverage on when the chips are down, something to look forward to in life. Give back a little bit to yourself, your energy levels, and the people around you. All right, guys, listen, I hope that helps. I hope you have an amazing weekend. We're running a five-day challenge next week if you want to join us. It's free, five days of personal development for men to get the state of mind in the right frame of mind, to get you out of that rut, get you out of your victim mentality, and start thinking and acting like an elite operator, okay? It's part of the, uh, the man coach movement to move men in the right direction, okay, guys? Have an amazing weekend. I'll see you over there.